Hello everyone and welcome back to another Thomas Wooden Railway review. This review is on... Arthur. So like in our last TWR review, which was Murdoch, um, Arthur was part of the large cast of characters that was introduced in Season 7 of Thomas and Friends, along with Spencer, Emily, Fergus, and also Murdoch as well. And Arthur's debut story was the spotless record which is kind of an ironic title because arthur ruins his spotless record in that story spoiler alert but it came out over a decade ago so you should have seen it by now after that arthur really didn't appear much more he appeared in a second episode in season seven titled something fishy um but other than that i can't think of any other story that he appeared in as the main character i think he cameoed a, a couple of times but i can't think of a of a third story that he appeared in as the main character. I mean, someone can tell me in the comments if he has, but I can't think of one off the top of my head. So moving on to Arthur's model history, Arthur was introduced in 2005, a year after Murdoch, and he was retired in 2009, a year prior to Murdoch. Why are we talking about Murdoch so much? This is Arthur's review. Come on, man. Anyway, let's take a look at Arthur's model. Once again, like with Murdoch, uh, we're talking about Murdoch so much in this review. Um, Arthur utilizes the six-wheel bogey setup, as I like to call it, and also his running board is made of plastic. Um, but um, that allows some more detail to be present in his running board, which you can have this extravagant shape right here on the running board going all the way down there with plastic. You can also have these black parts up here with plastic. You can never be able to make those out of wood, which, again, just uh, adds to the accuracy um, of his model. There's the six-wheel bogey setup. Like I said, the magnet is attached to the back. And then there's his front bogey with the two extra wheels. The magnet cover and the running board are also made of plastic, as well as his uh, very large uh, smoke box. It's, it's a little larger than a standard... Uh, tank engine or tender engine smoke box and there's this face it's a it's an accurate face it could be a little better i guess but um it's pretty good for what we get for um for what we got there's his side lms railway is where uh, arthur is from his detailing is very simplistic but it's also very accurate to his tv series model like with murdoch's model there's his back there's the other side, exactly the same. I also really like how they um, added the gray handrail on his uh, smoke box because uh, Learning Curve didn't really have to do that, but they did it anyway, and I really like that they did that. On the bottom, there's his name, and his wheels will be dated 2003. I don't think you can see that, but that's not my fault. <laughs> so, yeah, there's his side once more. There's his top. I really like how it's got this extra block of wood up here to uh, signify that his boiler is um, uh, in separate pieces. Um, and once again, he's just extremely accurate to his TV series model. So now let's move on to ratings and recommends. I would rate Arthur's model, once again, a perfect score 10 out of 10 just because of his accuracy to his TV series model. And again, I think that he and... Murdoch, I keep talking about Murdoch, but I think that his model is probably one of the best TWR models in terms of accuracy to his TV series uh, counterpart, as well as Murdoch. Stop talking about Murdoch. Would I recommend that you buy Arthur? Yes, I would, because Arthur is probably my favorite character that was introduced in Season 7, uh, right behind Fergus, um, because I really like Fergus's uh, persona, but Fergus is going to get his own review so we'll talk about that at a later date but yeah i really like arthur's character in the show and i think he's one of the main contenders on my list that i want to see return in cgi that's right i don't care about boko or any of those other classic characters i want arthur back so yeah highest of recommends for arthur's model because it's one of the most accurate and he's one of my favorite characters from season seven even if I don't really like Season 7 all that much. So that's my review on Arthur. I want to thank you all for watching. And as always, good night, everybody. Oh, no. Arthur, you just... 
You just ruined your spotless record for a second time. Seriously, dude, what the heck? I don't think he did it right. 